Okay. Welcome to course entitled Simulation of a Mechatronic Machine. This course is worth of five credits and it's organized now in the summer 2021. Purpose of this video is to explain you how the course is organized and what are the crown rules. What are the mandatory items that I'm expecting you to do to pass this course? And also let it give you a little bit of uh, guidelines. What really is a good idea in order to learn the subject matter of this course with a minimum amount of energy. So my name is Aki Mikola, and I'm organizing this course together with the Suraj Jaisval. My contact information and Suraj's contact information can be seen here. So the easiest way to communicate with us will be simply just to email us. And uh, well, we will be available most of the time. There will be certain breaks that we cannot respond to your emails, but we wanted to keep that the response time as minimum as possible. So as mentioned, so the crown rules is uh, really the, the major body of, the, of this presentation. And without further ado, so let's take a look how is that you will be created in this course. So this is a creating equation or creating formula. And as you can see from this equation, the, the equation consists of uh, a total of uh, three items. Two of them are mandatory. The mandatory items are written exam and simulation work. Uh, there will be further information about these two mandatory items in the following slides. And also about the weekly homework. Weekly homework is something that is not mandatory, but is highly recommended you to do. And as you can see down in the slide, the written exam will be graded from zero to five. Five is the maximum, maximum points. Simulation work correspondingly is is uh, created from minus one to one and weekly homework can give you 0 0.5 extra points. Now as you can see if you are doing really good uh, work in your simulation work it's possible that we can give you one extra point top of your written exam and if you really are doing all the well simulation homework excuse me the weekly homework in an acceptable way you can get 0 0.5 extra points. So that means that theoretically you can get here, you can get here five, here one, here 0 0.5. So that's a total of uh, 6.5, which will be rounded up. So that's seven. But that's only in the theory because all the courses in LUT University will, will have the maximum of five. So the five is a maximum. But this tells you that what are the options that you can reach the highest possible grade. So do the optimization work, think what fits to your best and follow that procedure. Well, read the next exam. There will be two mid examination, midterm examination, if you may. And those will be organized in week 28 and 34. And uh, the mid term examination will be organized in modal database and uh, it will be organized in a way that that one midterm exam will be open for one week time so it means that in a week 28 the exam will be opened <clears throat> right after the midnight between the sunday and monday and it will be open until the monday excuse me sunday uh, midnight. So you will have exactly a one week time to do the exam. And you will have two attempts. The highest will be accounted. And same goes for the second midterm exam. So uh, this is something that even though that it is mentioned that you must participate to two exams, this is exactly what I'm expecting you to do. So you need to participate both exams to complete the course. Simulation work. <clears throat> Simulation work will be done individually and they will be um, initial values that are student specific. So you need to check what are your 
initial values, and those values will be available in a Moodle database momentarily. It's mentioned here that it will be available uh, next week at latest. So it's probably available already this week. So stay tuned, go and take a look at the Moodle, web, Moodle site every now and then. This work, as mentioned earlier, it's created as OK minus, OK and OK plus. And of course, what they stand for, the point wise is shown here. So, but remember that these two need to be acceptably made in order to pass the course. And weekly homework is something that is again, highly recommended. So it really makes sense to do that. So there is a total of uh, 19 points from 13 different tasks, and they are available in nine different topics. And the grading is such that, okay, I can see that there is a mistake. So this is supposed to be, of course, 0 0.5. So if you can get more than, uh, well, if you get 14 points, then you can get this uh, extra point to your final grade. So here too, you can use a minimization, optimization math to figure it out that what's the best way to, to get this extra point if that's what you're looking at. A little bit of guidelines, how you can do the work, how you can pass the course and how you can make this with a re within the reasonable effort. Trust yourself. You know, certain topics you will see in this course are highly theoretical. They are complicated concepts that will take some time to learn. But please have a can-do attitude. Now, the can-do attitude makes a difference. And you can make this. You can clearly make this. There will be no difficulties whatsoever. So we are offering a good amount of supplementary information. So if you're a little bit shy about, let's say, mathematics, there will be um, ways to, to catch up in that uh, particular weakness. So, uh, so just, you know, make sure that you're going to make this happen and we will help you to do so. Now, we are also expecting you to work hard to make this happen. Uh, that means that you need to follow the lectures, read the handouts every week and every day. That would be even better. Also, follow the Temeco YouTube site. This is a new thing that was not available earlier. This is a new thing for this summer, and uh, you are like a pilot. You are testing how well it works. Temeco is a, a YouTube site that consists of videos, max five minutes, six minutes perhaps, and they are real. They are made with care, so they are really explaining the details of the topics that we are I'm expecting you to learn in this course. Do exercises yourself. Do everything yourself because. It helps when you go to to these midterm exams. So then a little bit about how is the material. This is the course YouTube site. And as you can see from this slide, you know, there will be no live lectures. Everything will be based on pre-recordings. This is something that I forgot to mention in the very beginning. So everything is pre-recording. So you know, you do and you proceed in a way that you, you just feel comfortable. But make sure that you do your home, home well, weekly homework in a timely manner and you do your simulation work also in a timely manner. And make sure that you're ready whenever there is a midterm exam. But again, pre-recordings that are available in a YouTube site that is a little hard to read because they're just somewhat um, tiny font here. But I will place this YouTube site to model common window or, you know, I, I will let you know what, what is this, uh, this website that, excuse me, YouTube site that you can find these, these recordings. The Temeco site that I mentioned earlier can be seen here. Easiest way to find that is simply go to YouTube, type Temeco, take a look at the, the playlist and select the playlist which says simulation of a mechatronic machine. And now the playlist can be seen here. And these are the high quality videos, short ones that are really helping you to understand the concept of this course. And also the, you know, the, the big picture that is provided in this course. This is how the Moodle site looked like. So we have several topics, P1, 
period number one is not really a period, but it's like um, topics that I'm expecting you to know before you entering the midterm exam, first midterm exam. So there's a, a total of seven topics before the midterm exam. And then once you click this period number two, which again is not the period, but it's the second part of the course, then there's a more topics available. And end of the, those topics, there is a second midterm exam. So with that, I wish you um, good luck and enjoy. Hopefully there is something new, new things that you learned from this course. Uh, make a serious commitment. Make sure that you're following the, the YouTube site frequently and make sure that you're reading the handouts frequently. And uh, if any problems, any questions, email. Okay.